Right now, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and every week here on The Now, we really want to bring you the stories of survivors. So this week, we are sharing the story of Rosalba Castillo. She is a Denver woman who was diagnosed almost a year ago, and Rosalba is live with us now. And also joining her is her little one. This is seven-month-old Emma. This was the scariest part of your diagnosis. Yes. You were four months pregnant with her. Yes, it was scary. What were they telling you about your pregnancy and having cancer and trying to go through treatment? Well, you know, you just, you get so concerned about being pregnant and having all these treatments being um, just on you and it was scary all along, especially being pregnant. I mean, I was crying all day long. What were, doc were doctors telling you that it was okay to go through some of the chemo being pregnant? Yes, yeah, especially because I was already four months pregnant. Okay. So she was already, you know, all her organs was, were developed. Okay. So she was okay, just the only concern was that she might come smaller than other babies were. Okay, but she's perfectly healthy. She, now she is. <laughs> so, okay, so you not only have Emma, though, who's seven months old, but you have two other children. Yes. What was it like then? Because once you gave birth, you still had to go through chemo and radiation. How did you raise a newborn and two kids at the same time? You know, it's hard raising kids, not being sick, but it's twice as harder. But with all the support with my family, they were so great helping me out. It, it was just a bliss having them around me. It was just so much help from everybody. Okay, now you decided, you were telling us that you decided to actually go through a mastectomy rather yes. than having just the lump removed. What made you make that decision? Uh, at that time, that was my only decision that I could make. Since I was pregnant, they could not do anything else but just make a mastectomy. Okay. And uh, I had no other choice. Yeah? You do what you have to do sometimes. <laughs> yes, I just didn't want, you know, nothing to come back. Now, so. it, your significant other was the one who actually found the lump. Yes. What do you tell other women out there about self-breast exams now? Well, you know, they should, you know, everybody knows their body. Just immediately if you find something that there's something wrong, especially in your breast, you should always tell your doctor right away. You know, now nowadays there's so much um, going on that it's just better to make your self-exam every day. Look at your breast in the mirror, make sure there's nothing there. All right. Well, we're so glad you're here today. <laughs> and Emma is absolutely adorable. Thank you so much it's for good having to see you here. doing well. Thank you. It yes. is just it's great to have our survivors on and give other women hope yes, out there. Yes, especially. So, Rosalba, Emma, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Coming up in just a minute, you've got to see this story. A climb